Welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be doing the Hack the Box Challenge called Grandpa. We're going to start out by doing an Nmap scan, script scan, version scan, IP address, all outputs in Nmap. I already did this, and we can so we can just cat nmap.nmap. And as you can see, port 80 is the only port open, so I went to the web page to see what was going on, and it is under construction. So I went back and I ran a derb scan, and I got a lot of um, code 403s, which is permission denied. And so I actually went back to the Nmap scan and looked up the version of port 80, and it's Microsoft IIS HTTPD 6.0. So I googled that and found this exploit from Metasploit and we will go ahead and give it a try to see if it works so we need to start up Metasploit and then we'll see if our new exploit will give us a reverse shell so now that it's open we can use our new exploit so options and from what it looks like the only thing we need to add is the R host so set R host 14 show options one more time to make sure it saved it and we are gonna go ahead and actually before we do that I think this module has the check function available and it does so that's an awesome thing that uh, Metasploit does and so now we can try and exploit it and see if we get a reverse shell and so as you can see we got our interpreter reverse shell and we're gonna want to get some basic system information we got the computer OS architect but none of that's really gonna help us right now but our first goal is to get the user.txt flag so if we go into a shell we're gonna wanna go all the way back to the home and then we're gonna wanna enter documents and settings and now the user Harry is gonna be where it is stored and we don't have access to this so after trying a bunch of all different things, none of them seem to work except when I change processes. So if we look at the processes that are running, there's a few that are running on authority. And so we're going to want to migrate to one of those. So we'll just migrate to 1792. So now that that's migrated, we should have a little bit more permissions and be able to do a few more things. But the first thing we're going to want to do is actually run a local exploit suggester that Metasploit has built into it so it's under so it's under run post multi recon local exploits suggester and what this will do is it'll go through a, a whole plethora of different local privilege escalation exploits that can be used and check to see if any of them are vulnerable to this machine. So now that that's finished you can see that it tried 37 different exploits and I think six of them came back to be a potential candidate. So I went through them all one by one. The first one I didn't get any luck working. The second one was a little sketchy and the third one I think was the uh, one that was the best for me so we're gonna to want to background this session and then use our new exploit and we're gonna to want to show the options for that and sessions list list the sessions and we only have one so we can set session to one show options and we're also going to, want to set the payload here. Set payload to Windows Meterpreter. Meterpreter. 
Predator. Reverse. TCP. And then we want to show the options. And then we want to set L host to 1010. 14.9 I believe is my IP address just to double check and it is so now everything should be ready to go and all we have to do is run the exploit and as you can see it looks like it completed it and what we're gonna want to do is see if we what kind of our permissions we have. So we'll drop into a shell. We'll go back and we'll list CD documents and settings. And first we'll see if we can access Harry. And we can and I, it's going to be in the desktop and then type and this, the only bad thing about this machine is I keep getting kicked out of my shell. So I have to restart and be really quick about it. So let's try this one more time. Damn. It's hard to do this when I'm trying to type so fast. Alright, this is going to have to be done this way. type user.txt and there is the first flag and just so you can see it also it's right there and now we want to go back and see if we have administrator privileges and we got kicked out of the shell once again so we'll actually go back into it and now that I have documents and settings copied it shouldn't be too bad administrator and we are in so now we'll go to desktop type root.txt and we have completed it so this machine didn't take as long as I imagined getting the initial foothold was really easy but the privilege escalation did turn out to take some time but I hope you guys learned something remember to subscribe like the video leave a thumbs up comment and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.